Hey guys, welcome to another Isle Ward Spotlight. Today I'm taking a look at Quahora from player Known. And Known, oh god. <laughs> and Known is trying to solo the final boss of Isle Ward until the update patch comes in, raising the level cap and all that. New island, uh, new content. Until then, the strongest uh, boss in Isle Ward is Nick Salas, uh, commonly known to the community as Nyx. Known is trying to solo Nyx. So I'm just uh, kind of tanking MMs from Nyx over here. The battlefield is set. Known against Nyx. Kuhora against Nyx Alice. Nyx Alice is one of the uh, newest, uh, definitely the hardest, strongest boss in Isleward. Nyx Alice has a handful of attacks here. You just saw Nyx Burrow. This Burrow attack, Nyx avoids damage while underground. Brings a long sweeping chain of crystal spikes through that can be used to kill the little brood snakes that Nyx will spawn. Uh, Nyx, you're seeing, is using a string of MMs, uh, magic missiles, uh, to hit Core Horror right now. And those are all pretty devastating attacks. But the real attack that we all need to be worried about is when Nyx makes a cage. Cage is the person that they're up against. And I'm really not sure how Korhara, how known, is uh, avoiding the cages. Pretty incredible. So as known tries to complete uh, a very impressive... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the build. Ooh, I love what I'm seeing already. First thing I like to take a look at when I'm looking at another player's... Uh, loadout here is what weapon they're rocking. Known is playing with a Steel Claws Bite. Steel Claw Bite uh, special proc is 100% critical hits always. Every hit that Known is making, let's get out of the way, every hit that Known is making will be a critical strike to the downside of every hit that Known lands on Nyx will uh, damage Known. You'll take an 8%, which is the best possible, uh, lowest possible percentage on a Steel Claw Bite. 8% of all the damage Known does to the monster will be done right back to him, uh, which is wild. Uh, let's look at how Known is not dying, because that's pretty dangerous. The shield is a special shield that Nyx Alice does drop when defeated sometimes, which is a Tox Steel Bulwark. Special proc on this guy is 19% chance on blocks to put up a barrier, avoiding all poison damage. Nyx does poison damage, so this is full immunity. If on a successful block 19% of the time, this procs. Let's go ahead and look at the block percentage. Block attacks 3%, block spells 0%. Looks like he's only getting some block from this shield and not using the skill tree uh, to enhance that block percentage which might be beneficial, but will definitely take away from the DPT. All right, let's keep looking at it. Uh, we got a Trink here for some Int, most likely because Known is using, let's make sure we're not getting hit by the spikes here. Most likely because Known is using Harvest Life Runes, which is, oop, the weapon just went away. Oop, oh, there it is. Uh, most likely using Harvest Life Runes uh, together with the Steel Claw Bite uh, to stay alive. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at them. Yeah, we got three Harvest Life Runes, which means every time Known does damage... Oh, am I getting blasted here? Oh, that didn't make sense. Could have swore I cast the cons on myself. Every time Known strikes his opponent, he's using it with a Harvest Life Rune. And the healing Known gets from the Harvest Life Rune cancels out the 8% recoil damage from the uh, Steel Claw Bite, which means Known is definitely going with a Strength and Intellect build, because even though a Steel Claw Bite is a dagger with which specs off of Dexterity, uh, the runes Known is using is the only thing he's using to attack, and those scale off of Strength and Intellect. So we got Int here, uh, Boots, Little Sprint, not the best boots here. I'm not sure why no one's using these boots. Uh, the legs, the pants, strength, mana regen, resistance, vitality, a lot of, a lot of utility uh, here uh, in, in order to sustain the fight. Let's get out of the way. The belt. Oh, I like the aug on the belt, the big 10 dex aug. Unfortunately, uh, not really a dex build. So we're looking at the... Oh, he's down. Well, let me, let me run out of the way here so I don't aggro Nyx, and we can keep talking about it. Let's 
can inspect it. Alrighty, so we got the belt. Let's take a look at the hat. We got strength, we got resistance. I have a sneaking suspicion mana regeneration was the inspiration for the belt. Resistance is the inspiration for the hat. Mana regen. Resistance, mana regen, resistance. That's what's going on here. Mana regeneration. I was a little confused why these gear pieces were not heavy, heavy, heavy on strength and int, which I know full well that known as capable has the gear for a strong, 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 strong gear set, but instead going mana regeneration. Hmm. Couldn't get him in time. Oh, he's getting potions. Wow. Guy's making new meta over here, bringing potions to the mix fight. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's wait for him to get back, I guess. And we're back. No one went to get some potions. <laughs> and uh, Soul's hanging out with me. <laughs> so we can uh, both watch the event. <laughs> oh, let me get a little closer to pull up and inspect without aggroing Nyx. Where is this guy? Alright, here we go. Alrighty, so we went through some of this gear. Back to the next slot. Resistance, X to all, resistance, vitality. The body armor, poison resistance. I can't wait to see the overall stat on the resistance here. Oh, here we go. 92, 92 out of 100. That's huge. <laughs> and the gloves, vitality. 59 vitality, 1400 hit points. Holy cow. Uh, vitality. There we go. Uh, ring, 17, 20 to all. Allows for a little bit more boom. Here we go, yeah. And a charge. Well, doesn't seem to be going so well with the potions. <laughs> Alright, dude. <laughs> my bad. Oh my god. Known is using minor healing potions. <laughs> He's not using uh, any, any better. He's using uh, <laughs> just, just your standard minor healing potions, which are actually pretty strong. All right, my overall impressions of the build. Well, I love the idea of going poison resistance, vitality, mana regeneration, because obviously the only way that Nona's is going to stay alive, fighting the main current boss of the game, is sustaining the fight, being able to use back to back to back to back to back, harvest life rune casts. Uh, so, makes a lot of sense. Uh, but it does make for... Why is Cone always almost dead? It, it, it does make for a little bit of a schlog of a fight, that's for sure. So, let's wish Known good luck and see if he can make history. Solo on Nyx. Alright, well let's go full cinematic mode and enjoy the fight. single-handedly solo nix gg uh we're gonna put that up on the yeah yeah recorded uh we're gonna get that put up on a nix percent uh nix quick kill percent is 
now a thing. Hold on. Well, that'll do it for this video. We just wanted to check out Known's Core Horror build, and what we ended up finding is the first solo of Nyx in the most recent patch of the game. Uh, well done, Core Horror. Well done, Known. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, please. All right, gentlemen, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, bye.